Hey, we got new things. Happy Halloween. Oh, holy shit, it's Halloween. Uh, get spooked or something. Oh, okay, that's it. And we've got uh, a away message. Annual Harvest play tonight at the old pick, uh, pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Okay, I was thinking that was going to be some sort of, I don't know, shitty message from B. It's been a few days, by the way. Sorry I haven't uploaded this uh, lately. <clears throat> Between Horizon Zero Dawn and then uh, Stories Untold, just haven't had a lot of time to do anything else. Um, so yeah, but we're back. We're back at it. Uh, I didn't leave you guys too long. Trash bird? Well, that's not very nice. What's up, Mom? Hey, Mom. Mm-hmm. Um. it's <laughs> a lot of not words going on right now. Uh, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You're lying. So, do you feel like t uh, talking about school yet? Uh, okay. So, what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Ugh! Never mind. <laughs> uh, let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because I'm all ears. I really am dying to find out. Uh, oh, sorry, I thought that was an end of a, a sentence. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Jeez, where's this coming from? You know, you're the, f the first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, we'd been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide it wasn't where you should be. Are you, like, having one of your mood swings again? Ugh. Like, I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. This isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what, maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to- Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of the failures that is our family. Ooh. I'm leaving. Told her off. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, some psychoanalysis going on here. Jesus Christ. I'm assuming... Yeah, I still can't go that way. This was all cutesy, like... I don't know. The first several days of this were just really nice and sweet and cutesy and silly. And all of a sudden, it's getting very, like... Uh, you know, introspective and... I don't know. Just kind of... Almost mean and cruel in a certain way. I was really fucked up on both sides of it. So I'm guessing there's like some financial issues or something along those lines. I, I don't know. Because she said, you know, that that uh, they might not have the house anymore uh, pretty soon. So I don't know. I maybe that doesn't mean anything. Maybe she was just insinuating she was going to kick May out. I'm not sure, but nonetheless, that's a bit off-putting. Uh, to hear that, you know? I should actually check this. So, what, like, are we ever gonna find out what the fuck is going on with Casey Hartley? Or is this, <laughs> is this just here just for the sake of it? That, that would be very silly. There, there's gotta be some sort of culmination there. The Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen. I don't care. You. Hey, Ant Mall Cop. Mall Cops don't carry guns, May. I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh yeah, I wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No, tell me. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. Bye. 
Ooh, uh, Possum Springs Harfest, brought to you by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. It's the 87th annual. That's a lot. Uh, oh, everything is so great and harfesty, which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that, or I could wander a bit, take in the harfesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. All right. Yeah, I'm kind of curious what uh, everything holds around here. You hype for Harfest? Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna go, or sorry, I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is, gonna get a pizza too. All to myself. Wow, you have life way more figured out uh, than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? Uh... <laughs> ruining my life. Oh, sorry to bring it up. That's fine, just a thing that happened. Oh, right, the thing. Yep, that's my advice. Try not to have a thing. Okay. Bye. So what's uh, what's the what's the goal here? What what, what am I doing? That's a, really in general for this entire game. I've had a hard time understanding exactly what the point is. Uh, I don't know if I brought that up in this playthrough. I definitely have in the jobs playthrough, but I just don't. I don't know. I'm just not sure yet. I'm not saying there necessarily has to be a point, but it would just be kind of odd if there wasn't. Happy Halloween! Ah, hey, you too. Feeling spooky? Extremely. Can't you tell? Do your spooky face. Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice effort, though. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, since it's Halloween, that means that, yeah, she's home um, during, uh, you know, school days, hours, whatever. You know, the reason why I'm pointing that out is just it lends credence to the notion that she just doesn't really give a shit anymore. She just flat out is not going to school. Which is... I don't know. Because, I, I mean, the way the way they've made it sound, it's almost as if the parents have paid for it, so... It is kind of understandable why the mom would be kind of pissed off if her daughter was not going to school for the thing that was paid for. So, I don't know. You! Hey, how thing? How how are things? Good harvest rush. It's hard to say that. I don't like saying it like that. It's the only way you can. No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh, I done got horrored. That sounds weird when you shorten it like that. Um, getting horrored at the work. Uh, when is this place busy? Morning is bad. Lunch is kind of bad. After I leave is bad. Christine, the owner, comes in then. I don't think I've ever seen Christine. I try to be out the door before she's clocked in. Nice. Anyway, you're here now, and I'm here now. And it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs. All by myself. So what's up? Um, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Hell yeah. Alright, let's... We're gonna smash some light bulbs, apparently. Oh, that's dangerous as fucking... What are you thinking? Ow. You insane? Wow. How? Oh, do I? Oh, I jump. Okay. I can jump and swing. Ow, you dick. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> I feel like an idiot now. Ah, you cocksucker. I'm really bad at this. I'm not, uh, not even gonna comment. Yeah, all right, I got one. Nice. Let's try another. Oh, you son of a bitch. Stop doing that. I am nowhere near, okay. I, I got one, god damn it. <laughs> I wanna do that again, because I fucked up last time. All right, whatever. I was really bad, but I was starting to get the hang of it. But him throwing those cans is, is cheating. I don't like that. You're an asshole. Oh, this looks new. What's all this? 
<clears throat> Holy shit. This is all completely new. I'm very interested. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what to expect here. Love, peace, joy, that's it. Alright, so there's nothing to do in here. That's uh, great. I'm assuming at some point we're going to be doing this section as like some sort of plot point. Or something along those lines. Oh, it, oh fuck, it's you. I'm busy. She's a pretty immature mom. I'm not going to lie. I don't know, like... It, <laughs> That stuff always kind of made me laugh. Like, the idea of, like, a parent giving their child the silent treatment. I don't know. It's just, it's a very childish thing to do. To a child, especially. <laughs> Breathe some fire already, dude. What? Hello? You're Candy's daughter, right? Yep. Who are you? Kate, but most people call me Pastor K. You're new here, right? 16 months, something like that. Uh, oh, n new to me at least. Hello? 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 <laughs> Do me a favor, take that last hello and give it to a, uh, give it to Bruce. Bruce? Bruce lives across the street. In the woods? For now, at least. You want me to go talk to a strange man in the woods? Bruce isn't strange, he's my friend. And he's part of this community. Okay. It was nice to meet you. You too. Alright. So, apparently there's a guy named Bruce that lives in the woods. Which, uh, is a bit disconcerting if you ask me. But, um... Hey! You know, I'm not gonna... Uh, are you Bruce? What? Oh, you're homeless. Oh, okay. I thought you were just some dude. But yeah, he lives like a little in a little tent underneath. I, I would assume that he's homeless. If he's doing this just because... He wants to, that's a, a bit strange, but, uh, hello, I'm Mae Broski, uh, friend of Pastor Kate. Hey, I'm Bruce. Ellipses. I don't say much. It's fine, I, I talk a lot. But I can, like, not. Alright, cool, nice talking to you, Bruce. Uh, I'm gonna go fuck off now. I always wanted to climb the water tower. Well, that one kid died doing that. Whatever. I'll get to it. Probably see clear to brittle from there. Oh, holy shit. More people. Hey. Hello. Hey. Traveler from distant lands. You have journeyed far, and it has brought you here. To us. Actually, I walk like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home. We will tell of your future. But first, be truthful. Tell us, which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? An arrow? Lu loosed? Lucid? Um, you're all like 14 year old goths, why am I answering this? I don't know. The shipwreck? On my way, my way into town in the playground, this old ship. How did you... We will peer into your future, and give you what help we can, in the coming dark. Uh... What, daylight savings ending? Ha. 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 Do you, like, practice that talking in turn thing? Tell us first. What is God? In this place? Wow. Uh... Is it... Caring but absent? Uncaring but distant. Vicious and roaming. Can we go with nice and helpful? Okay, fine. Uh, uncaring and distant. I can see it on a distant shore. Okay. We see something in your future. We know. <laughs> we know times three. Okay, already. You will swim out to sea. And meet it on a distant shore. We're like six hours from the ocean. You guys are bad at this. 
Let's try something easier. What am I going to have for dinner tonight? Don't know. Don't care. I want tacos. We'll have them soon. We'll all have tacos soon. That's ominous. For strangely. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to get going. Stop. Do you see the mystical symbol? Etched upon the sacred rock. Uh, the pentagram you guys drew? Yes, good. Okay. It is the first of three. Find it thrice, and it shall find you in the dark. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna head out. You guys are adorable. And weird, but the fun kind of weird. This is serious. Like, we're not kidding. We, we don't care or anything, but like... Dude. Alright, alright, I'll keep an eye out. For pentagrams and whatnot. Cool. You broke your speaking order. <laughs> um, no. We're just going backwards now. Are you freaking out yet? See ya, we weird goth teens. You're not gonna narc on us to the pasture, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. Did I jump? No, I, I didn't think so. So, um, probably full of shit, but can't be certain. They could, they could be for real and they could be honest. I don't know. They might be able to see into the future. They, they, they could be oracles. I, I have no way of knowing these things. No, that doesn't do anything for me. Um, can I tell the pastor? Just because I'm curious if I can. Howdy. You waiting for someone? I think I'm being stood up. A date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling, uh, me heading out, and then not showing up. You're meeting them at the Statue of Saints. Rubello. Yeah, the fire-breathing guy. You like... He like eight people. That's a bit of an oversimplification. But yeah, basically. Cool guy to have a statue of, outside of the church, I mean. I didn't put it here, but can't we learn something from St. Rubello? Eat people. Sure. This statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts outreach. It's working. Hey, listen, you know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions about, like, God, Sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of in my job description. Okay. See ya, Mr. Religious Man. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to get ready now. Is there, Are there any messages, by chance? Nope. Hello. Alright, let's look in the mirror then, because I, I bet that's what kickstarts it. Oh yeah, normal clothes that I've been wearing for a week. Time to get spooky. Sweet. What? Wh no, I'm not saying it. No. Nah. It's, it's a silly word. I'm not saying it. Alright, this that's actually a decent costume. Nothing? Nothing? Okay, then. Well, uh, it is Halloween, which means I can go out and uh, steal candy from people. Children, specifically. That's the best part of Halloween, is beating up small children and taking their candy. It's like literally taking candy from a baby. Hello? Hmm. They must already be out. Harfest. Is this a new chapter? Doesn't look like it. We're still on chapter two, I think. Look at her go. Does she ever run out of stamina? Oh wow, we just kind of fast traveled to this point. Can I go back? No, I cannot. That's cool with me. I can't jump either. I'm kind of just stuck, you know, running a straight line. Also, this music is reminding me of the Sherlock intro from BBC. What's going here? What's in here? I'm curious. Let's go faster, please. Loading screen may. Hey, when's this, supposed, this thing supposed to start? Ten minutes, I think. You think? This is a nightmare. 
Why did I ever agree to this? Chamber of Car Commerce owes me big for this. I hear you. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B. Please, it's a... Oh, I accidentally pressed the skip button. Sorry about that. B. Yeah. I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now. And like 80% spooks. Uh, so it's like fake history now. It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal but gets... Anyway, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. I can wing it. May, please don't wing it. Okay. I have no idea what to expect from this. Awesome. Do we not have an audience? We have nobody watching. Oh, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts? Oh, okay, it's old timey. Or be ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? Through the mists of time I see weary fur trappers from 1793. <laughs> Stumbling makes it better, I feel like. Brother John, it's not accidental, I promise. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow, and within a great dead tree, and besides with a witch, a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels and carrying the, these 300 beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O oh excellent brother. Ah, uh, shit. Ho, travelers, spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. Haggard witch. Horrible to look upon. Cruel young men. Ye did not even offer one of thy... 300 fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. Uh, thou art a rude and naughty boy. I shall curse ye and thee, and this very night ye shall perish. I am fearful. Steady, Brother Stephen. I did not venture out into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. Ye he he <laughs> I was born among these trees, neath a harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. I like saying ye. I don't know. It's, it's silly and stupid. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen. Art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these 300 beaver pelts. That is going to be very difficult. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. She ain't bullshitting is the translation there. She ain't fucking around. She's going to curse him. Probably make, uh, turn them into, give them like little tiny, anyway. <laughs> help, help. Who will help a poor traveler? Oh, hey, it's the guy in the leather jacket. Uh, um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch. Yep. I swear thee, friend, that is very day this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die zwoons I don't know what the fuck that means we camped by this very spring beneath the dead tree and even there's no tree anywhere and even now this his body lieth upon the earth lifeless as a pile of 300 beaver pelts oh it chilleth the heart he 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 uh, uh a curse upon rude young men Shit. That's that's not... Um, she has cursed the spring and now I shall die. Wow. I am also undone, for I have dranketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye. Fuck. Now I'm on my own. And yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. So I cursed the spring... 
You know, it would be helpful if I could, like me, I could personally review the script so I would know what to say. But, eh. What am I talking about? I'm just some asshole. The gaze upon them, gaze upon these spirits. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Hath? Oh, hey, it's just me now. Fuck. Uh, crap. That's not the line. For... For each man is determined on his path, and each path leads only to his end. Okay. And yet each path may lead to places unknown. Oh, why do you have a hammer? You, from the bus station. Young witch, it is I, the god of the forest. I <laughs> just didn't expect you to... Ain't that the way? So, witch, thou hast tarried too long in this world. I banish thee to... Uh, shit, my phone's ringing. One second. I banish thee to wander in the night. Through the stranger places. Um, oh god, how did you know? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods. But that is not the whole of the story. What the fuck is going on? Uh, this is your line. Forest god, thou hast no power. Um. I. Uh, forest god, thou hast no power here. Even now they end beginneth. Ah, my infernal powers. Shh, young witch. Even now, the world you know endeth, and you, who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Woo. Take care. Okay, then. Didn't think I was going to see that guy again. And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline. And now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the uh, the, <laughs> the, the county seat. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, now I'll leave before you curse you all. Um... Uh, ye he he he. Actually, the myth of the wicked witch is the product of centuries of persecution. By and that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. I actually just said cunt. <laughs> also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local business. All right, then. I'd say that went pretty well. But then again, I'm, I'm biased. I was a part of the show. The, the, the main character, in fact. I have to say, I, uh, I would uh, give myself a solid 8 out of 10. Hurry the fuck up. Jeez, thanks, guys. I am never doing that again. So, what are we doing? Well, I'm going home. Angus is making dinner, and we're going to watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more of a date thing. Oh. <clears throat> what are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to to the Buffett out by Ham Panther. Kind of have to go business stuff. I hate this. But you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. Okay, well. Good night. Night. Alright, I guess I can just go fuck myself then. I have a feeling we're about to go into the woods. This is garbage. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? 
Oh my god, hey, anyone! Shit. Has this game just been, like, setting up for the past, like, three hours? For, like, a murder mystery? I'm not controlling it right now, by the way. <sighs> Where the hell did he go? Shit. Oh, okay, now I'm controlling. I can't jump, by the way, still. I should probably... Take this costume off. What the fuck is happening? What are you doing and why are you wearing those silly clothes? Oh yeah, it's Halloween. Fa fair enough. But st that's still not okay. You can't do that. May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid. He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or just something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here. Doing whatever it is you're doing. No! No one should be out here. But there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No. May, now. What the fuck is going on? Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, this is, this is, this makes sense. Absolutely. Is, is this supposed to be like another dream sequence? Or did, did Officer Mall Cop just murder me and now I'm, I'm in purgatory for the rest of my fucking life? Okay, there's got to be some, like, hot fuzz conspiracy theory shit going on here. I don't want to know what's in the well. Please don't make me go in the well. That's how retro works. <laughs> so I've got a question. Uh... Your dad's kind of up and down, huh? All right then. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> 